Well, Alex, what a great start to the season. A, a hard-earned point last week and uh, back from behind again this week, this time all three. Yeah, uh, the penalty uh, miss woke us up a wee bit and saying that Blackburn still had us under the cosh uh, in the set pieces and they kept they kept the ball alive, a couple of corners and all of a sudden well, from getting that break with the penalty with a goal down. But uh, the, the equalising goal was tremendous. The first real bit of quality from us in the, in the game. But Blackburn put us under so much pressure. Sam will be disappointed, obviously, we're not going away with something. You called it a penalty miss. Is that a bit unkind to Ben Foster? Because it was a fantastic save. No, you're right. Yeah, um, I, did do, I did do Ben an injustice there. His save was phenomenal because it was well struck by Peterson. He's a great dead ball specialist. And uh, Ben threw himself across the goal. Fantastic big frame against the crossbar. And, and it's got to be one of the saves of the season. I'm sure it'll be in the running come May. You said that Sam will be disappointed, and he certainly was, but uh, he, he thought Ben Foster was the difference today. Yeah, yeah, but we could have played brilliant, silky football, and kept the, kept the ball for most of the game, but you're still going to be bombarded by the, that threat of the set pieces. Robinson kicks it a mile right on top of your goalkeeper, and, and on the occasions that it went wide of Ben or astray of Ben then we normally had Roger Johnson Scott Dan in good positions Liam Ridgewell uh, but one or two, once or twice they eluded as free headers I've got to look at it, they clipped the ball into the near post a few times which is obviously a tactic they worked on, must have felt with a weakness there so again I'm going to have to evaluate everything when I get back to the club on Monday Craig Gardner's not a player who'd normally make too many headlines. I'm sure he will uh, this weekend. But it must be pleasing for you to see uh, a midfield player coming up with two, two very different goals. Yeah, he's, he's been fizzing them in in training for the, the, the whole of pre-season. He scored a couple in pre-season. And he's, he's been waiting for his chance in central midfield. He came as a, he's a versatile player. can play right back and anywhere in the flanks. But he prefers to play through the, through the middle of midfield. And... I just felt in my gut that it was right to bring him back and he's, he's rewarded the gut feeling with two goals and it's hard on Lee Boyer because you know, as Bo pointed out to me myself that uh, he's done, he felt he'd done nothing wrong but I had a feeling for Gardner What does it say for the spirit of, of the team that uh, for the second week running you've uh, come back from adversity to get a good result? Well again I, I told the players they, they refuse to give up they, they do and they they, they were the same at Sunderland last week they don't allow themselves to, to chuck it they keep going to the very end I've tried to instil that into them but I've got so many characters in there who are like that anyway Final word about Nikola Zigic I mean it may not have been his day today do you, do you feel he's maybe the sort of player where it'll take a little while perhaps for him to find his feet in the Premier League Yeah, yeah, and he admits that himself he, he's, he's surprised at the, the physicality of the whole thing the players are so strong uh, and uh, the big, but the big, I'm sure the big man will bring his, his skills to the game as well. It's a tough game for him, tough baptism. But, uh, you know, we, we, we've got a good squad, a strong squad. And it, as Matt Derbyshire showed, that he's got something to offer as well. He might have uh, sealed it against his former club, Matt Derbyshire, off the bench. No, he just didn't get it round enough to, to curl in at the far corner. Uh, but the, he made some intelligent runs at a time when we really needed that type of running from the strikers. We didn't kill the opposition off, which is what we should have done. And then, of course, one slip, the opposition's back in the game. And uh, we look at the second one again, and it's so easy to defend both. I mean, at the best, the second one was a speculative shot. And unfortunately, it's caught Robbo cold. And the defence on the, on the first one, I just don't know where they were, because it was just a straight ball before. But all in all, if you leave the defenders and not punish the opposition and, and make the defenders' job easy somewhere along the line, then they might slip up and today was about the, the centre forwards or the, the people who had the chances not burying the opposition when they had them and in the end it's cost us very very dear so uh, but we're, we're pleased with the overall performance we're very encouraged by the fact that we've played very very well and created lots of chances but extremely disappointed to say the least to have come away from Birmingham with no points at all after playing as we played and after dominating the game as long as we did You said in the week uh, really you're, you're in desperate need to, to, to reinforce up front aren't you? I mean Kalinic worked hard but uh, there doesn't seem to be a lot of support for him 
Uh, well, you must have been at a different game then. So, uh, if you have a look at the uh, attempts at goal that we've done and the, and the, the uh, times we've entered their box, it'll be far greater than Birmingham City's, Bob. That's why you're probably a commentator and I'm a manager, <laughs> isn't it? So, uh, um, you're totally... Uh, uh, deluded when he said that one to be honest with you so I think I've just about put you in your place oh, right. fair enough yeah <laughs> <laughs> but I mean w- w- you, you did say that uh, you know uh, you need maybe to bring well, another we striker finish, in we need to finish the chances we created and we created far far more chances than Birmingham created today Birmingham's sum total for chances created was an header in the first half which Paul Robinson saved easy off a corner and uh, the goal that they scored, and uh, the second goal they scored wasn't really a chance. That was given by us uh, on a speculative shot. If you look at what we've had, we've had several, several opportunities. We've, we've unfortunately came in front of a goalkeeper that was absolutely outstanding. And that's probably the reason why we haven't won today, was Ben Foster was absolutely outstanding as a goalkeeper today and kept Birmingham in the game, as well as our poor finishing. Is there any more news on the takeover story that's been rumbling on? No, not really. There's, uh, you know, there's, there's uh, obviously somebody in the forefront there, and uh, he's look, looking to do whatever he needs to do in terms of investigations, uh, in terms of accounts and stuff like that. And I think uh, uh, the chairman has told me when they've completed those those due diligence, then they will make a decision on whether they're going to take the club or not. I know you've made the point that it's, it's, it's not a time to sort of get overexcited necessarily about all this, but uh, I mean, it must give the club uh, an idea of p- yes. potential. If, if the finances is that's talked about is a reality, then it's obviously very, very exciting because you know every football club needs a needs a benefactor to make you that which much better you can do it by your by creating your own revenues it's it's virtually impossible today you need somebody who's willing to invest in the team and uh, and try to get the enjoyment out of that money by making your team as good as you can possibly get and see what you can do in the Premier League most exciting league in the world and uh, goes all over the world and and uh, that's probably why he's interested in in, in buying a club uh, in the Premier League and uh, if it happens, then uh, it will be very exciting if the if the funds uh, become available. Certainly, from my point of view and the players, because we want to uh, get up on a Saturday morning and we want to be on an even par as as much as possibly can. So, um, at the moment, uh, we often wake up in the morning and think, "How are we going to be like today?" Today we were very good and didn't win, but some of the times, you know it's going to be very, very tough. And if you've got a better team, then you win more games. And if you win more games, is why we do it all, irrespective of what other people may think. We're only here for winning and trying to win as many games as we can. And sometimes with resources, that's pretty difficult.